Jefferson City voters will have the opportunity on Tuesday to vote on approving or rejecting a quarter of 1% sales tax to improve public safety. With the sales tax currently at 7.725%, this small increase will generate about $2.8 million each year. I spoke to law enforcement about what this money will be used for. We can only be as strong as what the citizens allow us to be. On the police side of things, Jason Ambler says the sales tax money is needed to increase salaries, as well as the need for body cameras for officers. We are falling behind the times with regards to recruitment and retention. We're short on the road with officers, and we're losing the applicants that we used to have. We're also using, losing senior officers to other agencies. Jefferson City Firefighters Local 671 President James Noah says salary progression issues are also hurting their retention rates. We used to utilize a two-year list for hiring process. Now we're doing that as a year list. Out of the 22 cities in the state with a population between 20,000 and 80,000, Jefferson City is the only one without a public safety tax and one of four in that category without body cams. Noah says the city also falls into the category of having one of the lowest levels of starting pay. Currently we start out at $39,900, I believe, as a starting salary for a probationary firefighter, and that's not taken into account of actually a 56-hour work week uh, pay scale rather than a 40-hour employee. Edward Greenslit, Jefferson City citizen, says he agrees that law enforcement deserves more funds, but also has reservations. My concern is, you know, the tracking of the funding, making sure it's going to where it's supposed to go. Uh, it is a sales tax, so being a sales tax, of course, you know, that's going to impact lower income people. With some citizens concerned about the tax increase, Ambler says a decrease is coming in public safety tax at the county level. In April of 22, when this sales tax funds begin to be collected, there is an eighth of a cent falling off of the Cole County law enforcement tax. With the possible increase in the Jefferson City tax and the decrease in Cole County, that would mean that Cole County citizens would only see an eighth of a cent increase, which comes out to about 12.5 cents for every $100.